Today we are going to discuss on heat, how heat transfer bring a change in the internal energy. Previously in the last video we have discussed about internal energy as a state function. Okay, so that means internal energy, this internal energy U, it does not depend on the part, but the initial and final value. Okay, so that's why it is a state function now heat okay we can change this internal energy okay by transfer of heat okay it can be from the surrounding to the system okay or from the system to the surrounding okay and as a result internal energy will change okay so for this let us consider a system okay con in which there is matter okay and this wall okay is a conducting wall okay or thermally conducting wall okay that means it can be transferred okay so initially let's take the temperature is t t1 like the previous video t1 and initially let's take the internal energy as u1 okay so when we apply heat okay from the sound into this uh, system okay let the new temperature be d2 and internal energy be u2 so the change in this temperature will give us the delta t will be g2 minus t1 so this will give us a change in the heat okay change in heat okay from t1 to t2 so it is denoted by q okay heat the q denotes the heat okay heat or we can say uh, delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 this will give you the heat only okay so in this case we are not applying any work okay just the uh, transfer of heat takes place okay so suppose if we apply work okay delta u will be q plus W. Now, internal energy will be a total of this one, heat plus work. Okay, so this W denotes work. Okay, so this is the mathematical expression of the first law of thermodynamics. So this first law it was related. Okay, in your syllabus, but let's discuss since it's a brief topic. Okay. So this first law of th thermodynamics, the statement is the energy, I'm writing in short form, the energy of an isolated system is constant. Okay, I'm writing in short form, constant. Or very commonly it is stated as, stated as energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can be transformed okay from one form to another so we cannot destroy this energy okay or create this energy will be there but we can transform this energy okay something like um mechanical energy into electrical energy now this internal energy this internal energy we cannot determine this ener internal energy of a system please note that one okay this cannot be determined but only the change in the internal energy okay only that change okay delta u can be determined okay this can be determined okay because we can find out the initial value okay i and final value okay so if you minus final value by initial value we we'll get this okay but internal energy we cannot determine please note that okay the next for the next one we are going to apply this one okay application of this first law of dynamics we are going to discuss that 
application of first law of thermodynamics so application so in this application we are going to consider the mechanical work okay so for mechanical work we are going to consider the pressure volume work okay pressure volume work okay so for this we are going to consider a cylinder okay this cylinder connected to a piston okay piston if you have seen an injection okay this injection okay you can imagine it that way we can move okay we can move this inside and outside okay uh, connected to a piston okay and if we consider the external pressure as p e x this is p e x okay now if we apply external pressure okay the piston will move inside okay so let's say the initial volume b v i okay initial and final volume b v f okay so the piston move from v i to v f at a distance l okay so this from v i to v f it will give you the area okay area of the or area means volume okay so if we compress this okay if you push this piston this gas will compress okay so this gas inside let's take it as a idle gas okay the gas inside let's take it as the idle gas okay the idle gas inside this it's compressed okay and volume decreases okay now we know that pressure okay pressure is equal to force by area okay so force will be is equal to pressure into area okay force pressure into area so we are going to check the uh, force okay force into area now volume okay volume change will change in volume from vi to vf okay that will be delta v so for change we always write delta v okay so this will be change l the area is denoted by a so l into a okay so this will be is equal to v final minus v initial okay so we got this one this one okay we got the force okay so force you can write this one as p external okay into delta v so area is this one okay and we got this force okay delta v pressure into area delta v okay this one whole thing comes here okay so we can write this one as p e x into a okay or area also now in this case okay the work down will be work down okay will be work down is denoted by w so work down here will be force into distance okay so it simply means p a x into a into l so pressure external pressure plus area okay and then this will simply give us p a p e x minus delta v okay or minus p e x delta v this will be equal to p e x v final minus v initial so in this case we are adding uh, here minus okay you know that uh, 
if we if work is done on the system this is the system we apply external pressure okay external pressure so if work is done on the system it should be positive okay so in order to get a positive uh, this v okay v final and v initial see v final is greater than v in sorry v initial is greater than v final v final is small that means okay v final here is small okay so this v final is small that's why we'll get a negative value okay and if we applied external pressure okay work is done on the system um let's let me write here in bracket work work done on system so work down on system will be positive okay and work done by the system if this system is doing the work then it will be negative okay so that's why we need to get a positive value and since this is the final is negative so we need to multiply it by negative okay so they will get a positive value now let's consider consider okay another thing so if the pressure is not constant okay if the pressure applied is not constant this pressure applied is not constant okay so it changes okay in a number of finite step okay so this pressure applied okay it increases slowly okay okay infinitely okay slowly so the total pressure for this total pressure okay work down will be given by summation okay summation minus sign will come here okay p e x delta v so the pressure if this pressure increases okay increases uh, in a small way okay or in infinitely small okay at each state okay so when we increase this pressure we will see that this volume decreases slowly okay so there is a small change okay we will see a small change in the volume okay that means the volume will decrease in a infinite seemingly small okay value so very small value so for that very small value we denote it by d okay for small value we denote it by d so dv okay for very small value now in this case okay when there is a infinitely small change in volume when we apply pressure okay we will get w is equal to v initial integration okay integration sign will come v integration so v final v initial and v final okay p e x d v okay this dv okay small change okay so let's take it as equation one so in this case okay p e x at each stage is equal to p okay p i n internal plus d p okay so if we apply pressure okay this internal pressure inside okay inside inside that uh, vessel inside it is increased by very small pressure denoted by this d okay p so it will be a total of pressure inside plus small pressure applied okay dp in case of compression so if you compress we will get this value okay this infinitely small value okay
let's see another com condition again so we discussed about compression now in case of expansion expansion okay the pressure will decrease okay so in case of expansion the pressure will decrease so this p i n will get p i n minus d p okay so in case if you combine this both okay expansion and compression okay the value will be p internal either plus or minus okay dp okay so we we'll get this value for for both okay expansion and compression so this result in a process okay this leads to a process known as reversible okay reversible process so in this case this reversible process is infinitely small okay change okay small change such that reversible process takes place okay so in this case the change is very small that's why there is equilibrium okay between the system and the surrounding so the equilibrium is nearly uh, equal okay between this okay system and surrounding and it's difficult to observe changes okay between the system and surrounding okay changes is taking place but it's not observable okay so now we have to relate this work okay work done okay to the reversible condition okay so if you relate this okay to the reversible condition we write r e v reversible so we get v initial v final v e x d v or final v initial okay pin plus minus d p So for reversible we can write it like this okay plus p internal plus minus d p bracket d v now this d p okay is a very small change d p and d v they are very small change infinitely small change okay that means very very small change and this change is negligible okay so since they are negligible okay we will neglect this to values dp and dv so now we get final v initial p in dv okay so we consider in the previous discussion we consider the gas to be an idle gas okay so in this case this p in okay we can consider as pressure okay we can consider this as pressure okay and we can express this pin in terms of volume okay through gas equation okay if you come across the gas equation so for gas equation pv is equal to nrp okay so for this is for n mole of idle gas okay PV is equal to R e, uh, NRT, okay. So we are going to relate it in terms of volume, okay. So P will be is equal to according to this. If you rearrange this, P will be is equal to NRT by P, okay. So W R E V we get V final V initial integration nrt nrt dv by v okay so we are just substituting this value here okay here now 
this r okay r is constant okay temperature is constant and number of mole it is constant okay so these are constant so we are going to write it outside okay and rt dv by v okay so differential equation of this um dv by v will give you a natural log okay final by v initial okay so after integration we get a uh, differentiation we get this one okay v final v initial so this ln okay can be we need to change this natural log to log okay so we need to multiply it by a certain value now that's this one 2.303 in rt log okay log 10 so log 10 is is equal to 1 so we simply write log okay with final by v initial let's discuss a new topic again free expansion so in this free expansion okay expansion of gaze in vacuum okay this expansion of gaze uh, let's write expansion of a gaze in vacuum so expansion of a gaze in vacuum means uh no, no matter is present okay or we can say em empty space okay so in empty space okay in an empty space empty space there is no external pressure okay no external pressure that's why p e x is zero okay so this free expansion of a gas in vacuum is called as free expansion okay so in this free expansion there is zero external pressure okay no external pressure is there and since there is no external pressure work down okay work down will be zero okay at the same time this internal energy change in internal energy will be also zero okay if there is no work done okay we get this one as zero also okay so this for this case okay in free expansion of gates in vacuum okay no work is done okay either in reversible or irreversible process okay for both of this process reversible or irreversible work done will be zero okay so next one let's so in this equation okay delta u plus q In equation delta u plus q okay not delta u plus q delta u is equal to q plus w mm, q plus w okay minus p e x dv is okay w is equal to minus p e x is substituted so if we substitute this one here we get q minus p e x delta v so 
if we consider okay the system to be at constant volume so constant volume means delta v will be zero okay therefore we get delta u as q only q we write a substrate v okay so this substrate v denotes that the heat is supplied at constant volume okay So this V will denote that heat is supplied at constant volume. Okay. So that's why we write V here. Okay. As the substrate. Let's discuss another topic. Iso thermal and free expansion of an idle gas so for isothermal so isothermal means constant temperature okay temperature is constant so temperature constant means p will be zero okay or change in temperature will be zero okay so for isothermal expansion of an idle gas into vacuum okay so in this case work down will be zero okay as in vacuum okay pex is, is equal to zero okay no external pressure is is applied okay there is no external pressure okay since it is in vacuum okay so in vacuum empty space okay no pressure so pex zero and therefore q also will be zero okay so lastly because of all this internal energy will be zero okay now is delta u is equal to p sorry q plus w okay so this delta u this equation okay first of thermodynamics q plus w okay can be expressed okay for iso thermal irreversible and reversible changes okay so this equation we can can be in, uh, expressed okay for isothermal reversible and irreversible change okay now for isothermal irreversible change q will be equal to minus w p x v final minus v initial so in this case okay this negative signs come because this w is, is equal to zero okay this w is equal to zero okay not w man delta u is equal to zero okay so q will be is equal to minus w okay so minus w second one for isothermal reversible change q is equal to minus w and rt final v initial okay so if you change it to log you will multiply it by 2.303 nrt log final minus v uh, initial 
third one for a diabetic diabetic change okay so no heat involved so q is zero okay for a diabetic okay it, okay no heat transfer so delta u will be work a diabetic okay delta u will be is equal to a diabetic work okay 